I got a Top Don ODB2 scanner here. This is their Elite version. They have two different ones. This is a Top N code reader. And I want to quick show you how you would use one of these on a car and do a little quick review of it. Just like the other Top Don products, comes with very well made secure package for protection. Now this comes with a USB cable to hook it to the computer for updates and a micro USB reader to plug it plug in your USB port to update it that way. Now there isn't a lot I'm going to be able to do here in front of the camera to show you anything on it. As I had stated it does have a micro or a mini USB and a micro SD card that it comes with a four gigabyte that has information on it and you can go to topdon.us and update these units to the latest version as different cars come out with different features. You got your top down website which gives you a wealth of information along with updates and whatnot for this code reader and other top down products we're gonna hook it up and show you what it's capable of but I'll give a quick rundown on the features it has uh, six modes for ODB2 it'll read of course read and clear your trouble codes data stream It'll turn off MIL and reset monitors, view fees, freeze frame data. It does have a monitor status where you can literally monitor your vehicle. You can test your O2 sensors, look up vehicle information, and look up uh, codes, different codes. And the big one with me is you can read and clear the ABS system for trouble codes and the same as your SRS or your airbags and anything to do with seat belts and whatnot. Like I said, internet upgradable. Before we run out there quick, the main feature I like on this is it has an onboard code lookup and gives you suggestions as to what's wrong with your vehicle. Somebody that isn't, say, a gearhead or somebody that works on cars, you get a check engine light on, you plug this thing in, it's going to pretty much direct you to what's wrong. And then on top of that, you end up hitting this question mark button here and it gives you a pretty detailed review of what could possibly be wrong. So a person could save quite a bit of money by having these units if you do have a check engine light come on, just knowing what is wrong before you take it in. So with that said, let's run out and show you what this thing's made of and we'll call her quits, huh? All right, now to plug in this code reader, you almost got to be a rocket scientist to do it. Up under a dash, which I'm in a... Saturn, I do believe in 2001, there will be a terminal. And other cars might be over to one side or the other, but for those of you who do not know, these terminals are all the same, an ODB2. And of course, here is the plug-in on the code reader. It only fits one way. Basically, take it and plug it in. I'm going to go ahead and turn the ignition on. All right, now that the code reader is hooked up and your key is on, you don't have to have your vehicle running. You got five different options. First one is scan. We'll quick go through them, but one thing I want to show you before we even go through anything, I'm going to go down to ODB2 Diagnostics or Diagnose, whatever you want to call it. And you'll come up with this first screen. It's just basically telling you, saying what's ready and what's not. Now I'm going to hit OK, and it's gathering vehicle information. Now, I'm going to skip through all this here and go to the bottom, which is vehicle information. Hit OK, which just thinks pretty neat with this. Gives you your vehicle ID number, and that's, you're going to be needing this sometimes, at least maybe the second or fourth digit. This is a G and a Z. Got to try to remember that when we're going to scan this for the airbags and stuff. So, But that's cool. I just wanted to show you, pull up your VIN and everything with this. So let's start out with scan. And now I need to go down to GM. This is a Saturn. We'll hit diag diagnose. Uh, manually select. No, I hope I get this right. I do believe this is a 2001. So we're going to hit Saturn. And let's try body. Uh, VIN, fourth one. What the hell did I say? Z. So let's try that. All right, so let's do uh, data display. If I sniffle a little, it's because I got a stupid cold. Right now, the key's on, showing you my voltage, driver's side, belt status. Let's see what happens if I plug it in. Get my belt around here. Now it's buckled. I just buckled my belt. 
Driver side's buckled, passenger side's unbuckled. What else we got here? Frontal loop enabled. Basically, that's the airbag, so everything's looking good. So let's get out of that. That's just a quick version of the SRS and the ABS. So you can go through and read the trouble codes for that and clear them for that. I have no ABS on this car itself, so it doesn't matter. But it will pick that up on all cars. Now we're going to go down to ODB2 Diagnose, and we're ready to roll here. Now let's hit read codes for this car. Got one of three. Cylinder one misfire detected. The one thing I really like about this, of course, you got your nice color screen, very easy to read, and it is backlit, as you can see there. Awesome. But this question mark, basically, to check out to see what is possibly causing the misfire and you have a wealth of information it, it'll be causes of the failures including ignition system error fuel transmission error that would be a little hard to diagnose with anything but it does point you in the right direction which I think is pretty incredible let's hit uh, over to the second code idle air control system RPM higher than expected of course you get your you know lookup number up here in that that's pretty cool. And let's hit the question mark there. Look at all the crap it's uh, letting me know. Idle air control valve is equipped with a removable needle valve controlled by correct removable step motor when the throttle is closed, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it goes into some serious detail. Pretty awesome, and I've already tried this out on a few cars. It'll go through pretty much any code. 303, another cylinder misfire. That would be the codes. Now I can erase the codes. And now we can scroll down to data streams. I'm going to skip some of this stuff, but let's hit up on that real quick. I could go through and say view graphic items. And here's all the stuff that will come up that I can see a graph of. Quite a few things, like say engine RPM. I'm going to check that. Let's just do that itself. <laughs> If you look there, showing a graph at RPM. Pretty neat. So that in itself is pretty cool. Now we get out of that. And you can group many things together with that graph. We're going to click view all items. Here's everything. Right down the engine coolant temp. It just goes on and on and on. Intake air temp, absolute throttle position, oxygen sensors. Like I said, I don't want to keep going here and bore you. You got your freeze frame, a O2 sensor test, and onboard monitoring. I'm going to go ahead and do a, even though I've never done it, a O2 sensor test. You got bank one and bank two, and you got a wealth of information there to test it. And it gives you everything right down to pass, lean to rich, it passed, low voltage sensor, passed, go on and on and on and on, pretty nice. In evaporative system test, see what happens there, huh? Evaporative system leak test failed. So, something with my EGI or something like that, I don't think it'll give you information, but that's something this uh, car probably won't pass an emissions test, could be wrong. You get a, get a good idea. I mean, this thing is just awesome. I mean, you got your onboard monitoring test, and, and then ODB review data, and here you can review stuff, and these are all the times that I've worked on this car or looked at it. Tool setup change your unit of measure language and record mode and whatnot and here will give you any information you need about the code reader itself and this tells you about the information if you want to look something up like say fuel system fuel system fuel system status show loop status open or close the fuel system banks uh, just unreal EGR error Exhaust gas recirculator error shows the error for changing from one condition to another. Just on and on and on. I really like this thing. 
Now I'm back in the view graphic items for the data stream. Let's scroll down and hit coolant dump and engine RPM and ignition timing advance just for shits and giggles. And here we go, you got everything running up here and down here. That's minimum and max for each of the settings we're, we're looking at. Spark advance, 27. That's moving up and down. You got your temp steady at 174. Your RPM, of course, is moving up and down. Pretty neat. Pretty damn neat. That gives you an idea on what this thing does. There you go. Top down ODB2 Elite. Very easy to use. Well built. Code reader. Comes with a hell of a nice package where I'm telling you, just like their other products, this real thick foam insert, very well protected for storage. And when you do need it, even uh, somebody that is not familiar with cars or doesn't have any experience at all, you're going to benefit from something like this, especially with that ability to onboard just look up the code and give you a general idea what's wrong with your vehicle. Go ahead and check out that link below for this specific code reader and as I said build quality I'm starting to really like top down. This here is their jump starter as you notice same thing very heavy package well built pretty awesome product in itself uh, good for a college kid or something to throw in the back of your car if you leave your lights on and I did a review on this a couple months ago and pretty nice products so till the next time there you go